Hey guys, Nick here and welcome back to Gamer Dude. So Resident Evil Village is almost here and there's so much we don't know about the game and its characters. One character I want to talk about in particular is Donna Benevento. Donna is one of the four leaders of Resident Evil Village and she seems to be a quite the interesting character. Recently there's been a cutscene released with Donna's talking dummy and also IGN has posted a photo of the house Benevento. So in this video, I wanted to explore this character. We'll go through who she is, her location, and all the enemies that reside in this creepy house. Also guys, before we start today's video, I will issue a light spoiler warning. Now, these are just ideas and predictions, so they're typically not traditional spoilers, but if you want to go into Resident Evil Village spoiler-free and prediction-free, then you've been warned. And lastly guys, if you could please consider leaving a like, commenting, and subscribing, as it helps out a lot and it's greatly appreciated. Alrighty, let's get into the character of Donna Benevento. So firstly, I want to talk about the dummy character that we see in the release cutscene of the four leaders. This dummy is named Angie, and she's supposedly operated by Donna herself. The design for Angie is quite disturbing and very reminiscent of the doll Annabelle from the Conjuring movie franchise. It isn't clear if Angie was inspired by Annabelle or not, but one thing I found interesting was when the game's director Morimasa Sato presented the design of Donna and Angie to Capcom USA, they actually found these characters to be the most frightening out of all the four lords. Now in this cutscene, we see that Angie doesn't require strings to move and has the ability to speak. This could be Donna doing ventriloquism and doing a voice for Angie. Or perhaps Donna has some sort of telekinetic ability to move Angie's limbs with her mind. Considering that Evelyn from RE7 had a telepathic ability to get into people's minds and control them, this really wouldn't be that much of a far-fetched scenario. Another idea for why Angie is so sentient and can move and speak on her own is that she is a vessel. Donna could have the ability to transform souls into her puppets and dolls. Angie could possibly house the soul of Donna's daughter or sister. Or could even be Donna's soul who resides in Angie. As for Donna herself, her design and outfit looks to be inspired by the woman in black character. She wears a long black dress with a black veil, almost like a mourning widow or mother would wear to a funeral. According to the internet, the name Benevento is of Italian heritage. So maybe Donna came from a family of Italian puppet and doll crafters. The two characters Donna and Angie could be inspired by Geppetto and Pinocchio from the famous children's story. Considering in all the trailers, we have been seeing a storybook-like aesthetic as well. So now, let's talk about Donna's location in Resident Evil Village, House Benevento. Now from this released photo, it definitely gives off a haunted house vibe. I'd imagine that this creepy looking house would be filled with eerie looking porcelain dolls and puppets. Rooms could be locked with special keys that have different insignias, just like the shield, helmet, sword, and armor keys. It could also be filled with multiple puzzles and traps. Considering that Donna might have the ability to control inanimate objects, she would be able to trick the player and always have them guessing if statues or puppets would come to life and attack them. So this now brings us to the enemies that we might see in House Benevento. So apart from Angie terrorizing Ethan and offering a whole bunch of jump scares, they also think the player will be fighting off a number of creepy enemies. For instance, I definitely feel like Angie isn't the only doll that will come to life. Maybe in some rooms, a number of dolls will come to life and start attacking Ethan. It would always be tense and scary to guess which doll is going to come to life, or just lay there. Also, another possible enemy that we could face off against could be creepy looking mannequins. A perfect example of these enemies would be the patients from Little Nightmares 2. These creepy looking enemies would move quickly and manically towards the player if they aren't pointing a source of light at them. Maybe these enemies could also play with motion and sight. When Ethan isn't looking, they could move towards him. Or they could be light sensitive as well, and you always have to keep your torch aimed at them. Now a lot of people would just ask, why not just shoot them when they're still? And you could do that, but this could be a great way to save ammo and avoid combat by outsmarting them. 
Also, another enemy that we could see are the suits of armor that come to life. We've seen this before in Resident Evil 4 with the moving suits of armor in the castle, and considering that Donna might be a character who can puppeteer anything, that would be pretty cool to see the suits of armor return. But in the end, regardless of what we see from this location, Donna and Angie definitely seem like interesting characters, and I can't wait to see what's in store for us in the final version of Resident Evil Village. Alrighty guys, that's all we have for today's video, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please consider leaving a like, commenting, and subscribing, as it helps out a lot, and it's greatly appreciated. As always guys, comment down below what you think of Donna and Angie, and what we could see in Resident Evil Village. Also guys, keep an eye out for our full Resident Evil Village playthrough with Jordan and Jade, the other members of our channel. They'll be playing through the whole game, so keep an eye out for that. Alrighty guys, well until the next video, I'll catch you later, bye.